Ladies and gentlemen, standing at six feet two inches and weighing 232 pounds, the fierce warrior, Igari Kanjo. He's one of Sumo's greatest Yokozuna, or grand champs for you Westerners out there. Six foot three, 366 pounds, Ken Ryuzan. One can hardly imagine two more dissimilar styles in the ring. Contenders, to your sides. Shisho, it's Ken Ryuzan's master. I've seen that guy before. He's the Yokozuna's trainer. He's more than that. Father. Don't look so glum. It's good to see you. I know I wasn't always there for you as a young boy, but I've come here to put the past behind us. Really? I thought you could use this. A traditional offering of water. As part of the pre-bout rituals, a Rikishi Shisho offers him a ladle of water to purify his spirit before battle. Come on, drink it. He's asking forgiveness. I will fight and defeat him. Only failure awaits those who dare oppose me. I am a Yokozuna. You are a Yokozuna tonight, punk. You're mine. Okay, my turn. The Crab Claw! Nice move! But it'll take more than that to budge the massive Ken Ryuzan! That's one mean sumo. Your pro wrestling parlor tricks won't do you any good, Igari. Destiny offers you but one choice tonight. Defeat. We'll see about that. Igari! Igari assumes a sumo attack stance. Does he truly believe he can win by adopting the Yokozuna's fighting style? His mere 240 pounds suggests otherwise. Diaper boy, you can do better than that. Show me! <laughs> That's some strategy. Bugatti adapts a few sumo moves so he can save face even if he loses. Bugatti Kanjo never plays to lose. The last thought in his mind is how to endear himself to the audience. He's simply trying to rattle Kim Ryuzan's cage. <laughs> You might want to guard your chin, both of them! Igari counters with his infamous Knuckle Arrow! A shocking display of force that has left Ken Ryuzan dazed and off balance. Clearly, the fierce warrior has gained the advantage. <laughs> the Yokozuna executes a flawless turnaround pinning Kanjo. Unusual that he would get trapped so easily. Come on, chubby. Throw me! <laughs> Shut up! Igari prevents the overarm throw, throwing his opponent for a loop. An astounding display of agility. That's what I love about Kanjo. You put his back up against the wall and he'll find a way out, even if he has to break it down. I can smell your fear. Or is that bad fish? 
Either way, I just got an idea. Should make you feel right at home. Ikari with a firm grasp on Ken Ryuzan's elbow. Henry Uzan now faces the challenge of overcoming one of the most perilous submission moves, the over-the-shoulder armbar. Stay with me, we're just getting started. The Fierce Warrior proves he can dish it out no matter what type of wrestling he's faced with. Wait a minute! Look at this reversal! Ken Ryuzan recovers to prove he's still in this match. Impressive strength from the sumo legend. I don't believe it. Dragged his foot around so long that he made a full circle in the sand. Huh? A dojo? It's a makeshift sumo wrestling ring, created by Ken Ryuzan's foot as he spun around. Astounding! We're being treated to a genuine sumo match. It's not a coincidence. I drew this circle on purpose, Tubby. <gasps> Come on, you're a big bad sumo. Prove it! <laughs> There on the edge, Ikari's working on Ken Ryu's on shoulder with the same ferocity as when he attacked his elbow. Looks like he's gonna break it. Now he switched to the other arm. He's looking for something to fracture. Ken Ryuzan refuses to let Ikari take his arm, and he won't go out of the ring. It's a stalemate. Ken Ryuzan's going to win. Kanjo, the fierce warrior, but that isn't the only name he goes by. Many fans overseas, they called him the killer. Time for the pinfall. <laughs> Ratio! A double arm lock! He's not... No! Surely he won't try to suplex the giant! Think of the impact he could create if he could just lift Ken Ryuzan off the ground! Conjo's in trouble. Ken Ryuzan placed his hand down to prevent falling on top of Igari. This move may have saved the wrestler's life. You broke it. With no choice left, his shisho has thrown in the towel. over and those two little words bring this outrageous battle to a close Ikari Kanjo has beaten Ken Ryuzan at his own game the entire sumo world will remember this one for some time to come especially that last maneuver which remains a mystery Ken Ryuzan had the reversal yet he chose to forego the win and protect his opponent instead an odd choice that contradicts the culture of the SFC. You know I have no choice but to punish you, right, my son? Yes. Why do you slap him? Most fathers reward their sons for their generosity. And why did you throw the match? You would have won it. I had no choice but to throw in the towel. My son's arm was broken. <clears throat> Don't play dumb with me. Your son let his arm shatter. Your point? His defeat was assured. What? The hold you did. The one called the double arm lock. In the sumo world, this waza has a far more appropriate name, befitting its destructive nature. The five ring shatter. Executed properly. Foolproof. Excuse me? 
In sumo wrestling, momentum is the name of the game. Being pinned with your head down is a dangerous place to be. The injuries sustained could be fatal if the match were allowed to continue. So if you can get your opponent in this position, you win. Making it a sumo match was a pact between the two of you, but the rules of the arena didn't change. The injury was irrelevant. The match would have been over. It's okay. I don't deserve to wear it. I must start over. But son... It doesn't matter. I'm back to zero now. I understand, Yokozuna. And I will do everything in my power to win this tournament. Your honor will be restored. Get ready for round two in block B. Our next fighter needs no introduction. That menacing physique can only belong to Retsu Kaio. However, his challenger is another story altogether, for it is unclear as to just who that will be. Now, don't panic, ladies and gentlemen. The rules are clear on this. Robert Gellin nor Kiyosami Kato advanced from round one, so a reserve must step in. Let's turn our attention to the ring to find out who the challenger will be. Fancy. Our reserve challenger has a flair for the dramatic. Hey, look up. What is that? Yes, indeed, folks. Here he is. The challenger is none other than the legendary wrestler, the giant devil, Mount Toba. I think now I've seen everything. Should hold up if I keep it tight. These old bones still got a match or two left in them. Toba, are you sure about this? It's not wise to play with fate in this way. One more injury and it's over. I'm a fighter. The day I can't step in a ring is a day I'll lie in the dirt. Go with my best wishes. <laughs> Get a load of Toba's outfit. I would have chosen one just like it. In 1982. I know. There's more to this game than a slugfest. It's about intimidation and flair. Oh, yeah? When that costume was new, Mount Toba was the most feared wrestler in the entire world. Those were the good old days. <laughs> What's funny? Be careful, Agati. You're starting to sound like an old man. Talking about the good old days instead of making new ones. You had to be there. It's pro wrestling against Chinese Kempo fist fighting. Should be a very exciting match. This match will be over in a minute. Oh, good. I'm glad we both agree. And no one passed. I'm sorry. This brand bears my name. And it shall not stand for mediocrity. I must have a worthy successor to give my life meaning. This vandal broke out of prison to continue down his same destructive path. Elders, I've committed no crime by being here. I'm a student of Master Kaio. Well now, Retsu Shon, let's review. You broke down a door 14 inches thick with your bare hands and defeated six armed guards to be here now. A fair price to be your successor. Silence, follow me. No idea. 
idea such a passageway existed in this temple. Ritsu Shon, what lies behind this door blocks your path to becoming the next Kaio. single night using only his artificial foot. You will not become Kayo, but this has little to do with your criminal past. You simply lack the competence and dedication to rise above your station. My name would never fit someone of your limitations. Someone who'd surely slander it with such a vile reputation. Speak honestly, Retsu. What would you offer in terms of responsibility? What could Kayo leave with you squandering its legacy? Under your lazy tenure, it would be a companion to stupidity. I prove you wrong. I have the Kaio title, the most prominent of Chinese Kempo. I swore to do it justice and bring glory to our name at any cost. Once, Once again, again, we have the combat, combat styles of the East against those of the West, and the result here should be no less spectacular. Contenders! Take your position! What's this? Toba starts, but the fight hasn't! Man, that's cheating. Not quite. He's old. And losing badly. Kyle counters! Even blind, he's a defensive master! <laughs> Impressive power! Your knee seen better days. Now it's his move. Retsu Kaio may be in trouble now. 30 seconds. That's longer than I expected this to last. At least you can take some pride in that. Still under a minute. Want some more? No need. It's over. Match ended! But for Toba, not soon enough. I hear complications from a knee injury can linger for years. Sometimes they never heal. I thought I could endure the pain if the match didn't go on for very long, so my strategy was to get in and out quickly. I underestimated my opponent's vigor. You had a plan and it failed. Why jeopardize your future for this fight? Honestly, I'm jealous of you, Agari. Why? You're the same age and our strength is comparable. But your body has not failed you. Unlike me, you're still free. You're whole. Complete. Toba. I hate to see you like this. I admired you. Konjo. You were the best there ever was, Toba. The Shinshin Kai members have rolled out the rice, paper, and water. They're putting on an unusually flashy intro for such a young fighter. And here he is, Katsumi Orochi! People either love him or hate him, there is no in-between. He's powerful, and believe me, he knows it. I hope Hanayama gives that kid a lesson he won't soon forget. You can say whatever you want about young Katsumi's arrogance, but as a fighter, he's got to be one of the best in the tournament. 
Koru Hanayama has entered the ring and judging by his size, that might be the most unnecessary comment I've ever made. The energy between these two warriors is explosive. Stay in your seats and get set for the fireworks. <laughs>